Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Networking Services and Applications, Part 2. Today we're going to be discussing network access services, and then we're going to move on to other services and applications. As always, there's a fair amount of ground to cover, so let's go ahead and dive into this session. I will begin with network access services. The first network access service that I'm going to discuss is actually a piece of hardware, the Network Interface Controller, or NIC. It can also be called the Network Interface Card. The NIC is how a device connects to a network. The Network Interface Controller works at two layers of the OSI model. At layer two, which is the data link layer, it provides the functional means of network communication by determining which networking protocols will be used. As in a NIC that will provide Ethernet communication or a NIC that will provide point-to-point -point protocol. It also provides the local network node address through its burned-in physical media access control address. At layer one, the physical layer, the network interface controller determines how the network data traffic will be converted a bit at a time into an electrical signal that can traverse the network media being used, i.e. it provides the connection to the network. Most modern computers come with at least one built-in Ethernet NIC. Routers and other network devices may use separate modules that can be inserted into the device to provide the proper network interface controller for the type of media they're connecting to and the networking protocols that are being used. Another network access service is RADIUS, Remote Authentication Dial-In User Service. RADIUS is a remote access service that is used to authenticate remote users and grant them access to authorized network resources. It is a popular AAA protocol, that's authentication, authorization, and accounting protocol. It's used to help ensure that only authenticated end users are using the network resources they are authorized to use. The accounting services of RADIUS are very robust. The only drawback to RADIUS is only the requesters, the end users, password is encrypted everything else gets sent in the clear. Terminal Access Controller, Access Control System Plus, or TACAX Plus, Terminal Access Controller, Access Control System Plus, boy, what a mouthful. It sure is easier to say TACAX Plus, is a remote access service that is used to authenticate remote devices and grant them access to authorized network resources. It is also a popular AAA protocol used to help ensure that only authenticated remote network devices are using the network resources that they are authorized to use. With TACAX Plus, the accounting features are not as robust as those found in RADIUS, but all network transmissions between devices are encrypted with TACAX Plus. Let's move on to other services and applications. First up is RAS, Remote Access Services. Now, RAS is not a protocol, but a roadmap. RAS is a description of the combination of software and hardware required for a remote access connection. A client requests access from an RAS server which either grants or rejects that access. Then we have web services, creating a means of cross-communication. Web services provides the means for communication between software packages or disparate platforms. It's usually achieved by translating the communication into an XML format or extensible markup language format. It is becoming more popular as systems diverge. Last up is Unified Voice Services. This is creating a better voice communication system. 
It's a description of the combination of software and hardware required to integrate voice communication channels into a network, as in voice over IP. That concludes this session on Networking Services and Applications, Part 2. I began by talking about network access services, and I concluded with other services and applications. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I look forward to doing another one.